This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. The 2014 Classic Tractor Contest is in full swing and new this morning. Samantha Crowley is hanging out with last year's winner to find out what you need to know in order to submit your tractor. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, Ellen. Good morning, Heartland. I'm in Kirksville this morning to bring you all the details about the return of the Classic Tractor Contest. And I have here with me last year's winner, Adrian Kaufman. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you. Now, tell me a little bit about last year. It was at the Missouri Symposium, and you know you have your tractor behind us. Yeah. So how did it go for you? It went well. You would take them out and you line them up. I think there was, I remember, five or six, and then they judged from those. Now, how did you get started in uh, the tractor and fixing it up? Because it is beautiful, might I add. Oh, I just love antique tractors, and I wanted one of these since I was a kid. So I got a chance to get it, and I did. So how many years have you had this one in particular? I think three years. Yeah. And the process of going about entering the contest, how does that work? You send in your application and they accept it and then they draw 10 out of that. People vote online and they select 10 and then if you're in that 10 where well, you get to go to the symposium. And now the applications are due and they're taking them right now up until two weeks from today and that's November 10th that you can enter to win and like you said uh, you can judge online and then the final judging is taking place December 5th and 6th. Will you be in attendance? Yes, yes. I'll be there to look the tractors over. Because <laughs> you won't be able to enter unfortunately. No. Not if you win once you're not eligible to win the second time. But the nice thing here is that you can enter as an individual or as a group if you want to enter with other people. That's right. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And now what do you have to tell uh, some people about getting the community out and involved and heading out there? Well, it's just good entertainment. You'll enjoy it. Not only do they show tractors, they have other displays set up and booths set up. and It's just a good family day. Kids would enjoy it even. And uh, so make sure to head out. And if you're interested, enter with your application. When we come back, we will check in with some of your trophies that you won in previous years. Sound good? Yes, sounds fine. All right, Ella, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. Thanks, Samantha. And again, you have until November 10th to submit your tractor. You can find all the information on how to do so on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Stay with us. Good morning, Heartland. We'll be right back. Meantime, the Missouri Livestock Symposium is looking for its next classic tractor. Is yours the one? Well, Samantha Croy is hanging out with last year's winner to learn more about the contest. Good morning, Samantha. Thanks, Ella. If you're just joining us, I'm in Kirksville this morning to bring you all the details about the classic tractor contest that's headed back to the heartland. And I have last year's winner with me, Adrian Kaufman. And uh, we have some trophies over here from previous years. So when did you first start entering in the contest? A uh, year before last is my first entry. Yeah. And how did that go? I got second, yeah. Second place, which isn't too bad. There yeah. were probably how many tractors? There were ten, six or ten, I forget. Six, I believe now. Yeah. yeah. So then did that motivate you to uh, put some more work into it, clean it up real nice, and return no, the following year? I just didn't do anything else. I waited till the next year, and they asked me if I wanted to enter again, and I said I would. So You didn't do I anything to else to it? I the best tractor it? that year. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I saw it out there, and I'm not sure I've seen a nicer tractor. So I'm I'm interested to see what tractors are out there this year. Yeah, I don't know which ones, what they'll have yet. I don't know. And uh, so tell me a little bit about last year, and we do have your trophy over here. How exciting was that for you to win? It was exciting. It was interesting. It kind of rewarding after you put a lot of hard work in them. Yeah. And how long did it take for you to fix up that tractor that you have out there? It was 12, 14 months, yeah. I had it during the winter. I'd go out and tear a piece off and sand it and sandblast it. And I took it all apart, yeah. In the cold winter? Yes, but I had heat in the shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, lucky you. So now you can't, unfortunately, enter this year, but do you plan on attending just to watch? Absolutely. I enjoy it. It's good entertainment, yeah. And now it'll be taking place the 5th and the 6th, and we said earlier that they're taking entries up until two weeks from today, so they can enter that online, and we'll have that posted on our website, heartlandconnection.com. But we also want to remind everyone to head out on the 5th and the 6th. That's going to be the final judging at William Matthew Middle School. How excited are you for the next winner? Yeah, I'm enjoying looking at the tractors and see what wins. And I like to look them all over. <laughs> and it all started when you were a kid. Oh, yes. I love tractors all my life. and I used to have a Cub, and it was, I always said I wanted an A, so I found this one, bought it, and worked it over. Yeah. 
And the contest is open to everyone, and it's free, so make sure to head out. And it is a family event, so make sure to bring those kids along and get them interested as well. But for now, Ella will go ahead and send it back to you.